Never say I've been on my ground for seven days. Need a race, swear to God, I'll never be the same. TBH, this Welcome back guys, vlog number four here. Uh, it's currently Thursday. Uh, I just want to start this video off saying thank you so much to uh, all the supporters and people that have given me positive feedback for the past three videos. I really uh, really appreciate it. We hit 100 subscribers this week. So that's a huge accomplishment. Today's video is just going to be basically me training like a college athlete today. We're going to meet some of the guys at the gym from the team. Here at Chico State, Division II men's uh, track and field. There's going to be sprinters, uh, multi-eventers, and some other people there working out. So we're basically going to train like them today and see what happens. Uh, I used to train like this for the past four years, so I already know basically what's going to be going on. But it's always good to get back in the routine, feeling how they go. Uh, so yeah. Oh, also I just want to point out uh, how I keep my week scheduled because we do have online classes right now. So this is just what it looks like for me. So yeah, Monday subscribe all the way to Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me, guys. Hope you guys have had a good week so far, and let's continue uh, having a good one. you to the athletes over here really quick here we go all right just go ahead and say say your name and event my name is Calvin I run the 400 and 200 plus like the relays with it too there you go sprinter Woo. all right uh, I'm Rory I run the 400 too as well and uh, sometimes 4x4 all right big max Daniels, I'm a decathlete. Lucky boy Alex here. Let's go, okay. My name's Kevin, I'm a 400, 200, 4x4 four four runner. There we go, baby. So we got we got a mix of sprinters and multi-athletes here. So today we're just gonna be doing some uh, back squats, RDLs. We're going that lower half of your body. So yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so for back squats, we're gonna do four sets of six, uh, three sets of four, and two sets of two. So it's gonna be a go. A little moderate to heavy weight today. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, put up walking on your status. If you want to talk, then call me, let it got down. I've been on my grind just like a skater. Hop up, hop up on the mic, yeah, I'm creative. Catch a vibe, I catch a vibe. I'm on a beat like it's a crime, yeah, it's a crime. I'm always working over time, yeah, over time. Money just like Anaheim, what's in my prime? Breaking it down, calling me now. They want to clout, I wouldn't doubt. I'm out, bitch. Yeah. Never gonna stop. Never gonna stop. Going to the top. Kobe with the shot. Cooking like a pop. Yeah, that shit is hot. Popping like a curl. I was never tired. CBA. Never said. I've been on my ground for seven days. Need a race. Swear to God, I'll never be the same. TBH. I just got done post workout here, boys. Uh, thanks for letting me join you guys today. Uh, so yeah, if you guys didn't know, the track season was canceled last year due to COVID. So like, I lost my eligibility, and they guys, these guys, already didn't get a chance to compete. So with COVID still basically canceling all, out all college uh, sports and athletes right now, what do you guys feel about it? Honestly, it's just it's a sucky thing that because it's happening to everyone, not just our school. And it made like working out harder. Just but at the end of the day, we still have to train just because we can come back whenever. Yeah. What are your guys' thoughts on like high school athletes not 
being able to have like a recruiting year and what do you like say to them? I mean it's ass but like there's really not much you can do right now. You just gotta keep like working out, keep doing your thing and then reach out to coaches if you can. Like send out emails, tell them like who you are, what you can do and hopefully you get a response. Cool, all right, thanks for the info guys. Just got done with the workout guys. So now we're back at home. Gonna make one of my favorite post-workout meals and uh, take you guys along for the ride. So let's go. Okay, we're in the outfit. This is my favorite part of the video. Uh, so today, we're gonna be making an omelet with some veggies. Uh, let me show you guys the ingredients. So first off, we got mushrooms, a little bit of white onion, I don't know if you can see that, but a half of a medium tomato. We have four egg whites, one whole egg, one whole jalapeno, and a half of a bell pepper. I personally like to get mine nice and diced like this just because it's easier in the omelet to fold over and the bites aren't as chunky. Also, the seasonings I'm going to be using a little bit of paprika, some cayenne, some salt, and some pepper. So what you want to do here is basically heat up your pan to where it's hot enough, but not too hot. So medium low heat, sizzle the vegetables a little bit, get them nice and prepared to throw on those on that egg omelet. I like to whip my eggs beforehand just to get them nice and uh, good consistency. And then once you get your pan hot enough, I'm just gonna pour these guys right in here like that. And you're gonna wanna let them cook evenly for a while, so that way you have a good base for your veggies to sit on, rather than if you were to put your veggies, veggies in right now, they would just fall through and sizzle on the pan. Okay, once the veggies are all cooked and you got the eggs all ready to go, just go ahead and put the vegetables on one side of the omelet. Might have made too much vegetables, but more the merrier, am I right? Throw that on there like that. Forgot one necessity. You gotta put cheese on there so that everything can stick together. You can use your own cheese, or whatever kind you want, but personally, I like to just throw a little bit right all the way around everywhere. I'll throw a little bit more on there because I didn't grab enough. Boom. All right, this is the trickiest part. I'm not that good at this part, but we'll see what happens here. You gotta get underneath, look at that, see? You gotta get underneath the omelet and really just plop it right on top. Yeah, I made too much veggies, but they never hurt anybody. Boom, that's beauty. All right, so this is the final product right here. Voila. Put a little bit of sriracha from Trader Joe's just because Trader Joe's sriracha is probably the best thing ever created on this planet. Um, I used to never like sriracha, but my girlfriend Marley got me into it. And uh, yeah, shout out to her. This is awesome. This is a great per uh, post-workout meal just because it has everything you need when uh, you're trying to lose weight and gain some muscle. Protein, vegetables, everything. It's super delicious, easy to make. I think that was like maybe five minutes and the most you have to do is like pre-cut the vegetables. But yeah, super delicious. I'm gonna eat this, guys. Um, thank you again for turning in, tuning into this week's video. Uh, the next video I'll be posting out is gonna be super good, super interesting and exciting. So stay tuned. I'll be dropping hints on my Instagram about what the video is about. So keep track on there. And I also wanted to say that uh, I'm gonna be doing a subscriber giveaway soon. So once I hit 150 subscribers, I will be giving away something I have not decided what I wanna give away yet, but it will be good. So uh, yeah, thank you guys. Subscribe and like this video for more content. Have a great day, thank you.